This is an optional exercise related to exercise eight, using multiple images to explore thresholding options. What I want to show you in this optional exercise is how you get from individual data files to this concatenated image stack, which we saw was so useful in the exercise. So we're going to illustrate this with just four instead of 80. And we're going to just grab them from here, this all data max mean slices based on channel three folder. I'm just going to grab the first four images and drag them into Fiji. We want to concatenate them. So we want to put them together into a single stack. How do we do that? We use the following tool, images, stacks, tools, concatenate. We can say do all open windows. If we have more than the ones that show up here, we can decide to keep the original images if we want to have the option to go back to them. I'm gonna say okay, and you'll see what happens. Now we have two channel images. You can see there are two channels here, but we have multiple time points. So the way it created this is it put each of these images as a time point in this concatenated stack. And then once you have this, you can sort of do whatever you want with the duplicate tool. For example, you may just want one of the channels. So you can use the duplicate command, which we already uh, went over in some of the exercises. And just to remind you, it's an image duplicate, control shift D. For example, you may want just one of those channels. So here you have a single channel view of these four. You can also make a montage of these I'm going to use a scale factor of one. So this is a two channel montage. And by using the duplicate command, we can turn it into a one channel montage and so on and so forth. So these are very convenient tools. If you want to create a single image, either of a montage or of a single channel of, of you know, a single image stack rather where each, uh, in this case, time point is one of the images in your data set. So this just makes it easier uh, to then measure across multiple images. If you want to do this uh, with Z stacks, concatenation uh, is a little bit more complicated. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to show you that here, but there are instructions uh, in the exercises which explain how to deal with that situation if, if, um, if you have Z stacks and uh, if they have the same number of Z slices or if they don't, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, there's more uh, explanation of that in the exercise instructions.